Hi Sagis, welcome to my channel. We're doing your dailies. This year 7 to the 8th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. I will give you guys, ooh, this one, the calming spray. Mm -mm -mm. Ooh, that's very calming. <laughs> okay, we have lavender amethyst. Okay. Oh, that's good. Lavender amethyst. I feel a lot of juju being cleansed. Alright, anyhow, let's begin. Sun, Moon, Rising is a little bit chilly. Okay, because the AC is on. <laughs> okay, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Here we go. Ooh, mm hmm. Okay, well, there was a chariot. I see someone trying to move out, move in, travel to see one person. Okay, let me see. Mm -hmm. Here we go. You have your two of swords. The choice is yours, basically, or the choice is theirs, whichever. The longer you don't make this choice, the difficult the situation can be. This is matters of the mind and the heart. Trying to connect everything. Trying to put two and two together. It's a head over heart decision also. And then you're trying to make it as one. You don't want to commit a mistake. Vice versa. Okay. Might get a little stiff, just saying, Sag. Here we go. Other person. Ten of Wands. You've done it. They've done it. You've reached a point of... It's so difficult. I, I don't even know how long. How long before I let go? How long before I make the decision to either take more responsibility for this person or to just let go of it? But it's about to, you know, this is someone who's, um, I call this like someone who works hard also. This is someone who brings home the bacon, you know, but we don't, I don't want to harm pigs, okay, I'm just saying. <laughs> Let me see here, next to the two of swords. Oh, hello. Do you have a scorp in your sign? Because scorps got this. A head over heart. Two of swords. Of course, as an heir, that's your head. Okay, heir head, really? Are they an heir head? <laughs> Are they all about their head? And two of cups, of course, the energy where they love you. You love them, and you're trying to put two in together because it's like, why do we love each other and yet there's so much burden? Why is it this thing is more prominent than love? Why is it every time we try, you try to go? And I'm always the one trying to go after you. Why do I have to chase you? A lot of whys. That's a two of swords. Because you're in a crossroad. You're starting to question the the love between the two of you. Let me see here. Underneath the ten of wands. No, that's it. Oh! Hello. For some, this is the final burden, the final push. It's basically just around the corner. A choice of relationship should you take the responsibility okay for this person and this responsibility that you're gonna take is basically just for this and you just have to let go of this and this so that you guys can just be basically just loving each other and being together just like that. Sounds easy, but it's not because of this. Because there's a lot of things. There is a lot of things that you need to carry or they have to carry in the relationship. Oh, by the way, this is also someone's moving into a new place, a nice apartment. Te uh, the Four of Wands is our place. The Ten of Wands is also, you know, carrying stuff and then moving in. Okay, let me see here, underneath the Two of Cups, hmm, not going anywhere, not making that decision, so it has to be them, I don't want, I don't want to be that person, that's Eight of Swords, you have more doubt, you're letting doubt cloud your mind, so hence you're stuck, let me see here, 
So the other person is just waiting for someone to pull the trigger. Someone here wants the other person, can you just commit? And then the other person is like, well, I'm just waiting for you to say something. But you're not telling me anything. You're very quiet. And I'm just also, if you're quiet, then I'm just going to be here waiting. But this person is so scared to make that decision. Hmm. You'll be dealing with an earth sign, of course. There's going to be a moon in, moon in air also. Or moon in, moon in air, moon in earth. A lot of fire energy, of course. That's not, but that can be also Sag. Okay. So I'm going to continue this reading as the crossroads over here and as the other person is still waiting. Okay. Thank you very much, Sag, for watching. It's your 7th to the 8th. I'll see you guys again. No, it's not winter. Okay. Bye, guys. Hi, Sagis. This is extended. Um, who goes there? Okay. Um, who goes there? Um, if you are in a situation where you you are already um, with a person, if you also have a scorp in your side also, like you're an in-betweener, it's good. Um, if you have been dealing with a situation where you feel that it's hopeless and it's stuck, where it's been going, if there has been lies and deceit, where it's going, if you've been troubled about so much delay, where it's going, there. <laughs> it's going there, just extended. Okay, so that's where I see. We, uh, we identified um, a, a period of month, a period of like two months that we have, peri uh, per, um, and also by the year. We did by the year also. All right, so thank you very much, Sagis. I'll see you guys again. Next is the snippets. Bye. The star card, right? But before that, Seven of Swords with the Queen of Swords, a lot of okay. things happen that will go to your favor. Now, let's see, you know, the whole journey will unfold even further. Yes. The husband and wife, Vedic's ideal, all together already. Not even in separate. You guys are together.